Hello everybody and welcome back to more Plants vs. Zombies. So, um, I discovered something a little sad. I looked it up after last video and as it turns out, the Plants vs. Zombies Game of the Year PC Edition, which is what I'm playing for Steam, does not have Last Stand Endless or any of the Last Stand sort of, like uh, trophies. So that makes me sad, because that was my favorite mode. So, iPhone version is better, I guess. But we'll get, we're gonna have to move past that any, anyways. Another thing that I mentioned last video is that I was gonna try to get all of the iPhone achievements, even if they weren't in this version of the game. I should clarify. I will try to get almost all of them. I'm not going to try to get the lucky spin achievement for spinning free diamonds in the slot machine because, well, that is stupid and luck-based and takes forever and not fun. Like, the whole point of achievements is supposed to be that you actually achieve something through your own skill, but that's not how it works <laughs> if you uh, if you make it luck-based. Of the only skill that might be involved is if you have good enough faith in God that he can manipulate the RNG for you, but uh, I don't think I'm at that point yet, so that's not gonna happen. We're not doing the luck-based missions at all. Like, seriously, it's like, that's like, oh man, God, can you, can you please help me spin free diamonds in the slot machine? It's like, really? You, you, you're praying to ask me that? Yes, please. It's like, you, you could pray for anything, but this is what you want? Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> it's like, Solomon becomes keen. It's like, Solomon, you are keen. What is your heart's greatest desire? God, I want to get the lucky spin achievement in Plants vs. Zombies. And then God was like, Solomon, you are definitely the most foolish man in the whole world. I will not give you this. And that's how the kingdom of Israel fell. Not actually in the Bible, but you know. Yeah, uh, lucky spin achievement, that's terrible, but I am going to try to get the other achievements. And I'll be trying to get some of them uh, today. So we're going to play through story mode again. There will be a couple of differences, but I think on the whole it's going to be pretty similar, so... I'll fast forward for a lot of it. Like, I know the minigame levels and the conveyor belt levels at the end are all exactly the same in Adventure Mode 2, so I can just skip right past those. But there will be some slight differences, and me trying to get some of the achievements as we go, that will be, uh, that'll be interesting. Also, as it look, from the looks of it, Stinky the Snail did not collect any money for me, even when I gave him chocolate. That I am disappointed in you, Stinky. Yet another reason why the iPhone version is better. Stinky actually collects money for you if you leave the game. There we go. Wow, everyone wants the phonograph. He might collect money for you if you leave the game running, but if you quit the game, he's definitely not collecting money for you. Alright, I gave Stinky Chocolate, he should be collecting coins for us as long as we are playing this video, but as soon as I hit quit game, he doesn't. Which is really dumb, because Zen Garden still generates the coins and resets the, guy, the guy's happiness counter if you're not playing, so... Sure, try to figure that out. Anyhow... We've cleared minigame mode, we've cleared puzzle mode, we've cleared most of survival mode. I'm gonna save the rest of survival mode till later. Let's try adventure mode again. And we're about to see the main gimmick behind adventure mode too. <laughs> Man, those zombies just keep a coming. This time around, I want to pick some seeds for you. I choose these three. So the main gimmick of Adventure Mode 2 is that it's, I think, exactly the same, except Crazy Dave will pick three of the plants for you on every single round. And this is why it helps to have the nine seed slots. So that way you at least have some flexibility. Now, for this first level, I'm gonna do something interesting. I'm gonna try to get the Good Morning achievement, which is you gotta beat a regular daytime level only using mushrooms and coffee beans. So... Coffee bean, we're gonna need sun shroom, we're gonna need puff shroom. Puff shroom is gonna be very, very important for stalling out the zombies, because it is free to plant. We're also gonna get scaredy shroom, because he's very cheap. We're gonna basically get the cheapest plants, but we're also going to get doom shroom for the instant death. And then I think fume shroom, maybe? Fume shroom or ice shroom, 
honestly. Both are good. I'll get Fume Shroom. Now, I hope it gives me the achievement if Crazy Dave picks some of these plants for me. Otherwise, we're in trouble. So I'm going to start putting Puff Shrooms on the ground because... Well, even if they can't attack, their ability to just be free and have a fast recharge will make them very useful. Alright, so we got a zombie down there. Lovely. What I'm gonna try to do is save up enough for a coffee bean, bring this Scaredy Shroom to life, and then hopefully Scaredy Shroom will be able to kill this zombie before the zombie gets so close that the Scaredy Shroom is like, ah! Be tight though. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Come on, Scaredy Shroom, don't get scared. Come on, I'm counting on you. Come on. No! That's not good. Oh, that's actually quite bad. Alright, we're gonna restart that one. <laughs> Also, you can reset and it'll change the free plants that Crazy Dave bring. Never mind, no, you, no, you can't. Crazy Dave will never request you to bring plants that are just entirely useless. So, like, if it's a daytime level, he's never going to say you have to bring mushrooms. If you're on a not a level without the pool, he's not going to ask you to bring lily pads. So he'll never bring something outright useless. But as you can see, he can pick things like free peters, which aren't very good. All right, let's try this again. It's a shame that we can't even use something like a walnut. Even be able to even being able to use walnuts would be very useful. All right, for this next one, I'm gonna focus uh, build it up a lane at a time. I'm not even gonna bother with the bottom lanes. I'm literally just gonna be like, hey, they can trigger the lawn mowers. That's fine because once we can get our army built up. That's how we know we've made it. Yeah, so I'm not even gonna bother dealing with the zombie down here. I'm just gonna let him walk right into the lawnmower down there. Gonna bring the sun shrimps to life because we do need that extra sun. Yep, zombie at the bottom lane. He can also just trigger the lawnmower, that's fine. We can't stretch ourselves too thin. Now we need to start building up this lane as well. Alright, now that we've got some sun shrooms out, now we should be able to focus a little bit more. But again, we can still let the zombies take out these lawnmowers down here. That's perfectly all right. Building up this, the puff shrooms literally just to delay the zombies. Again, this is an achievement because it is hard to achieve. Okay, now, we've, now we're starting to get the zombies around here. So now we actually do really need to build up our scaredy shrooms. Because we're only going to be dealing with regular zombies here, a single scaredy shroom should be able to suffice for a lot of this. Ok, 
Okay, now we got another zombie down there, but he'll get hit by the lawnmower, so it's all right. Okay, cool. We got a, we got a big, uh, big mushroom now. Big sun shroom. All right, now we're gonna hold off on the sun-producing plants because we do need at least an attacker in these bottom lanes, just to keep the zombies at bay. And this is the reason why some people think that puff shrooms are good even in the daytime just because of their ability to stall zombies. Still not a very good ability, though. Like, they can only stall the zombies for a tiny bit of time. All right, here we go. Now we've at least got an attacker in every lane, so we can still use these Puff Shrooms to delay zombies if there's more than one in a lane. Otherwise, we should be pretty good at this point. Yeah, so Scaredy Shrooms right now are the same price as Pea Shooters, but they're not quite as good because they can cower if the zombies get too close. Otherwise, though, they are still competent. However, now we've got some huge waves coming, and this is why we brought our good friend Doom Shroom. Doom Shroom can just completely wipe out the huge waves. Because I don't have faith that my Scaredy Shrooms will be able to do it all by themselves. Isn't it beautiful? Again, I am a little worried that the game won't give me the achievement be just because even though I'm not using these free plants that Crazy Dave picked, it might just be, well, you pick those plants, so you use them. Because the Good Morning achievement actually is in the Game of the Year version as well. Oh boy, chocolate. Yeah, Puff Shrooms are not worth waking up in the daytime, because for just 25 extra sun, you get a Scary Shroom, which is a lot better, because it has more range. There we go. Now I think we can start investing in the Fume Shrooms. Fume Shrooms will be nice, because, well, they can hit multiple zombies in a way. Puff Shroom. Fume Shrooms actually can potentially be worth it in the daytime if you have a lot of weak, like massive hordes of weak zombies. Because their ability to hit every single zombie in their range is nice, even if their damage output isn't as, <laughs> as high as you'd like for 150 sun to get one. Again, 150 sun in the daytime. Now we should be facing the final huge wave up ahead. If that's the case, I know just what to do. Oh boy, we got all our sun shrooms grown. That's awesome. Final wave. And the earlier you do this in adventure mode, the better it'll work out. Oh no, don't... No, they ate my doom shroom. That's okay. Should have put him over here. There we go. So the earlier you do it in adventure mode, so level 1-1 will be the easiest for that. Sure enough! Oh, <laughs> I got the don't pee in the pool achievement um, last video, but yeah, we also get the good morning achievement. Woohoo! So I guess the first world is slightly different, just because you'll remember the first couple levels we only had like one or three lanes, and they were tutorial levels. Now we're just they're just regular levels filled with zombies. Wow, Crazy Dave gave us great plants to use here. 
That's fantastic. Now, actually, I'm gonna try something. There is an achievement in the game for called Py in the iPhone version called Pyromaniac, and you get the achievement for you beating a level using only explosives to defeat zombies. So, for that, we're gonna want sunflowers, we're gonna want potato mines, we have got cherry bombs, we're gonna want doom shrooms. We're also going to want walnuts, and we're gonna want pumpkins. And this is a level where if you have imitator, definitely imitate probably the cherry bomb. Yeah, so I'm just gonna see if I am capable of beating the level using only explosives to defeat zombies. With Potato Mine, we're able to stall out the first several zombies very easily, but after that, we're gonna have to rely on Cherry Bombs and Doom Shrooms. Technically, there is an additional explosive plant in the game. Uh, the Cobb Cannons that I bought uh, will give you unlimited explosives eventually, but that also requires you to use Kernel Pults to build them up. And I don't want to risk the Kernel Pults killing a zombie before then. Also, they're very expensive. Also, I didn't have enough seeds to choose from because Crazy Dave also chose the squash and the snow pea. I also... I don't know if jalapeno counts as an explosive or not. Like, it, for me, it seems a little ambiguous. Like, the jalapeno could refer to, like, a, it could be an explosion in the lane, but for me, it, it seems more like it's just a fire attack. And I don't know if the game would count that, so I'm not going to risk it. Plus, I'd rather have the rest of these. Yeah, if you bring the Imitator, I recommend imitating a Cherry Bomb. Getting two Cherry Bombs. Alright, at this point, we don't need any more Sunflowers, because the Explosives, the main problem is their slow recharge, not their high sun cost. So as long as I can just keep using potato mines, that's gonna be great. Alright, we got some zombies over here. I can take them both out with a cherry bomb. So I'll wait for them to get a little bit closer. Cool. The chair, uh, the potato mine will have recharged in the time for me to take out that guy as well. All right. Now we can start laying out our defenses. Because eventually, what we want to do is create just like a wall that holds the zombies back while we wait for the plants to recharge. And that's why I brought a walnut and a pumpkin. I also want to bring, put the barrier close to this left side so I have more room to use doom shrooms. Oh no! I did- what the heck? I did not click on that. Well, the nice thing is this isn't an actual achievement here, so... Doom Shrooms are... overpowered. Please ignore the howling wind outside. It's a very weird achievement, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, 
And yep, Doom Shrooms continue to be ludicrously overpowered. Uh oh, here, huge wave of zombies is coming. And our Doom Shroom is on recharge, so that's a bit of a shame. Gonna repair that pumpkin, because it didn't take. Oh, wait, I should have put the pumpkin over on that one. Whoops. That walnut's like, I feel a little exposed. Blackbeard is gonna hit the potato mine. That was a dumb place to put it. Alright, we're, we're gonna get a second Doom Shroom up, though, so... Just hold tight. Ah, Doom Shroom, I love you. Yeah, this is definitely an achievement that it's going to be a lot easier to get if um, you have the imitator to get two cherry bombs. Or two doom shrooms, ominously. Like, it's kind of up to you whether you're like, oh, I think it would be better to get uh, a doom shroom or a cherry bomb. Because the extra cherry bomb just, it's free kills, whereas the doom shroom does tear up your lawn. And the lawn does take a while to recover from that. It is something to keep in mind. The, the Doom Shroom does tear up the lawn, and the lawn does take a while to recover from that. So if you have two Doom Shrooms, yeah, you can obliterate the zombies, but you might eventually run out of places to plant. It's just something to think about. Oh, thank you. Thankfully, that part of the lawn healed, so that's very nice. As you can see, our, our wall is just kind of impenetrable. Alright, we still have a little bit of time before the next huge wave. So, doom on you. Wow, we didn't actually kill that guy. Now, if I put it... Hmm. I'll save up for a cherry bomb. He's not going to be eating that anytime soon. Now, for these guys, we're gonna have to wait for a Doom Shroom. Or another Cherry Bomb. Okay, those two zombies are like, on top of each other, so I'm curious to see if they'll both get blown up by the Potato Mine. I don't think they will. Okay, I, I have a plan for that. Oh, wow, that, that guy's about to get torn up. So my plan for the Doom Shrooms, I'm gonna put them down here. Oh, wow, those zombies both did get blown up by that. That's fantastic. Right. right, we definitely want to save a Doom Shroom for that final huge wave. So these guys can just start going to town on it. I don't care. Got more than enough sun. I'm gonna wait for either the final huge wave to come. Is that three zombies there? Oh, that is. I got a plan. That one little potato mine should blow them all up. And if not, I have a backup plan. Because they're all on the exact same pixel, this one potato mine should blow all of them up. And if not... Well... Sure enough, yep, it did. And there we go! We are a pyromaniac. We only used explosives to defeat zombies. 
I wish that was still an achievement in this. Because that, that's one of those achievements that's like, it actually is an accomplishment because it is difficult. You got to play in a very different way. Oh boy, we got garlic, pumpkin, and tall nut. Cool. Let's use starfruit then because I love starfruit. If they're going to just give me garlic to begin with, then why not? Ooh, I think, you know, well, we don't have twin sunflowers, so never mind. I'll also show off spike rock. Spike rock is really good. And you know what? If we can afford it, let's get cop cannons. That's a big if, though. I just realized I didn't bring anything like, uh... Anything like a squash or a potato mine to deal with the first couple zombies. Whoops. At least we've got some defensive plants. I just gotta hope I uh, get enough sun to put down something like a tall nut. Oh yeah, I will. Oh wow! A second one. I know just what to do with you. Fun, isn't it? <laughs> Spike Rock! Yeah, Spike Rock is really, really good because it deals double the damage of Spike Weed, so if you put it in front of the something like a barrier plant, it's actually going to do a lot of damage. And, um... <laughs> its durability is a little nuts. Uh, Spike Weed has basically 1 HP. If it hits, like, one Zomboni or if one Gargantuar smashes it, it's gone. Spike Rock has nine times the durability. I think it can survive nine or ten Gargantuar smashes, which just doesn't seem right. <laughs> it really doesn't. And here we go. Alright, at this point, I am going to start saving up for a Cobb Cannon. So a Cobb Cannon is by far the most expensive plant in the game, and it's honestly just not viable on most levels because of how expensive it is to set up. It's really only viable on the really long levels. So I'm going to show it off. So first off, we're going to need Kernel Bolts. Because we actually, it's an upgrade plant like all of the other store-bought plants, but the difference here is you don't upgrade one Kernel Bolt, you need to upgrade two side-by-side -side in the same lane. And then the cob cannon will take up two squares, basically. And I'll show you what it does. It's kind of crazy. Big investment, but you're gonna see it pay off. 
Here we go. So this is a cob cannon, so right now it's not going to do anything, but just you wait. Here we go. So, once it's uh, corn is grown in, we select an area, so I'm going to target it right there. And yeah, it launches a missile that has the same effect as a cherry bomb. And it regrows every like 20 or so seconds. So it basically just gives you unlimited cherry bombs to uh, deal with. And that's with one. If you can get like five of these, it's like, well, uh, nice knowing you. Yeah, when it comes to Last Stand Endless, these guys are key. Wow, alright. That guy recharged a little faster than I was expecting. Boom. Yeah, cop cannons are really, really good. But like I said, they're impractical on most levels because they just take so much setup that on shorter levels you are better off just using cherry bombs. But on the long levels where you've got like three or four waves, they're quite good. Oh boy, I hate it when Crazy Dave does this. Cactus split pee on levels where we don't have diggers and coffee beans. That's not a good trio. Oh well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work with it. <laughs> I'm gonna pick some lackluster plants. At least he's not giving me like it's a blover. Oh wait a second, we can use gloom shrooms. Ha ha. Easy peasy. <laughs> Get it? Easy peasy? <laughs> Alright, Walnut Bowling is exactly the same as in Adventure 1, so I'll see you in the next level. <laughs>
Okay, that actually was different from Adventure Mode 1. That was a lot harder. I almost used every single lawnmower. Wow, alright. I'll just fast forward that then. <laughs> Good lord. Melon Pulled, Repeater, and Jerry Bomb. Wow, that's a powerful set of plants right there. I will definitely be taking advantage of that. Goodness me, yes. Golly gosh. Let's rock. Blabby Wobble. All right, <laughs> that was a crazy one. I especially like my maneuver at the beginning of putting the uh, split peat in front of the zombie to shoot him down before he reached my sunflowers. That was fun. Oh boy. Colonel Pult and pumpkins and jalapenos. Interesting. 
Alright. Well, I'll take advantage of the cob cannons then. That's for sure. <laughs> there we go. There we go, Cobb Cannons for the win. <laughs> Cobb Cannons are incredibly good. Alright, last level of World 1 in Adventure 2. Repeater, Walnut, and Spikeweed. Man, it's my lucky day. We'll just keep up the Spike Rocks, I guess. And we'll get Torchwood. We haven't used Torchwood yet. <laughs> uh, we'll get Tall Nuts, because I don't want these guys vaulting over them. That sounds great. We'll get some Marigolds. And, uh, potato mines for the beginning. was an intense one. Almost lost a lawnmower at one point, but we solved it. But that one sunflower is now giving everybody, driving everyone crazy. Like, how are you putting the bill on the lawn? 
Alright, now it's time for the all-out attack. Now, I think this is exactly the same, but the walnut boy was a lot tougher, so let's see if this one's a lot tougher too. Fast forward, go. I think that was a little tougher than it was in the first adventure mode, but uh, it's hard to tell. Because again, it was a while back when I last played it. <laughs> Alright. So that was World 1. I think now we can, because we can speed up so much of this, because it's a lot of repeat stuff, we can just take it one world per video instead of one world every two videos. In the meantime, though, Stinky, did you collect any money for me, buddy? I really hope you did. But it doesn't look like he did. There we go. Stinky, here's your chocolate. Do your job. Alright. What can we buy from the shop with our 14000 That would actually be worth our while. We're gonna buy the Gatling P, and we're gonna buy the Twin Sunflower. Both of them kind of suck. But we can afford them, at least. <laughs> so the only two points we have left are Gold Magnetroom, which are terrible, and then Imitator, who is very situational. That's fine by me. Eventually, we'll get to the point where I'll just sell all my Zen Garden stuff. There's an achievement in the iPhone version for getting literally every single type of plant in the Zen Garden. I don't think we still have it in this version. I hope not. No, no, we don't. That's very good. That's another achievement I'm not gonna do. Because, like, it can be fun, but it's gonna take just freaking forever. Nobody wants to see me play the game for that long. Anyhow, we are definitely out of time for this video. We played a whole bunch. This is probably gonna be a longer video. The videos at this point are probably gonna be on the long side. Thank you for watching, everybody. Hope you tune in next time. We'll be going to World 2, and to start things out, we're doing an achievement where we have to clear a night level without using any mushrooms. So, yeah. That's gonna be an uphill battle. Look forward to that next time, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.